Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. In the realm of aerial warfare, the Tupolev Tu-160 and the Boeing B-52 stand as iconic symbols of strategic bombing capabilities for their respective nations. Both aircraft represent formidable arsenals in the hands of their operators boasting extensive range and payloads capable of delivering devastating blows to targets thousands of miles away. However, when it comes to determining which would prevail in a hypothetical matchup, various factors must be considered. In this video, we'll delve into the key characteristics of each aircraft and explore the potential outcomes of a theoretical encounter between the Tu-160 and the B-52. The Tupolev Tu-160 is a heavyweight strategic bomber and airborne missile platform developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau during the 1970s in the Soviet Union. It boasts supersonic speeds and features variable wings, making it the largest and heaviest combat aircraft ever constructed, as well as the fastest bomber in active service. On the other hand, the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is a subsonic long-range strategic bomber manufactured by Boeing, operating with the United States Air Force. Since the 1950s, for over four decades, the B-52 remains a stalwart in aerial operations, benefiting from continual support and upgrades provided by Boeing. Both aircraft represent two distinct eras of strategic bomber design. Let's delve into a comprehensive comparison of these iconic aircraft. The Tu-160 is slightly shorter in length. With 54.1 meters. Compared to the B-52s, it has 48.5 meters. In terms of wingspan, the Tu-160 has a wingspan of 55.7 meters, while the B-52 boasts a wingspan of 56.4 meters. Height-wise, the Tu-160 stands at 13.1 meters, while the B-52 is taller at 12.4 meters. The Tu-160 is powered by four Samara NK-321 afterburning turbofan engines, each capable of producing 137.3 kN of thrust. On the other hand, the B-52 is equipped with eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33P3 one-hundred-thirds turbofans, each generating 76 kN of thrust. The Tu-160 boasts a maximum speed of Mach 2.05, significantly faster than the B-52s, which has top speed of Mach 0.86. The Tu-160 has an empty weight of 110,000 kg and gross weight of 267,600 kg, in comparison, the B-52 is lighter, with an empty weight of 83,250 kg and gross weight of 120,000 kg. The Tu-160s has higher service ceiling of 16,000 meters, 52,000 feet, while B-52 has 15,000 meters, 50,000 feet. The Tu-160 has 14,000 feet per minute, while B-52 has a lower rate of climb, which has 6,270 feet per minute. The Tu-160 features a variable geometry wing design, allowing it to adjust its wing sweep angle for optimal performance at different speeds and altitudes. The B-52, on the other hand, employs a traditional swept wing configuration.
The Tu-160 has primarily been operated by the Russian Air Force and is used for strategic bombing missions. The B-52 has been operated by the United States Air Force and has seen extensive use in various conflicts, including the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and more recent conflicts in the Middle East. The Tupolev Tu-160 does not possess inherent stealth features. Like some of its Western counterparts, such as the B-2 Spirit or B-21 Raider, the Tu-160's design focuses on other aspects that contribute to its survivability and ability to penetrate hostile airspace. Boeing B-52 is not a stealth aircraft due to its large size, conventional design, and radar reflective surfaces. It still plays a crucial role in modern warfare, particularly as a platform for carrying and launching stealthy cruise missiles, like the AM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile. In recent developments, Russia has taken steps to enhance the survivability of its Tu-160 strategic bombers by applying new paint schemes possibly aimed at providing camouflage against potential threats from Ukrainian drones and missile attacks. The Tu-160M variant incorporates advanced avionics and features state-of-the-art NK-3202 engines, known for their reduced maintenance requirements. These engines not only demonstrate outstanding performance, but also offer exceptional flight capabilities and longevity. Additionally, the Tu-160M is outfitted with a range of cutting-edge weaponry, prominently including the KH-101 cruise missiles, which further bolster its offensive capabilities. The focal point of the B-52 modernization initiative involves upgrading the bomber's original Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, which date back to the 1960s, with new Rolls-Royce manufactured F-130 engines. This $2.6 billion endeavor, known as the Commercial Engine Replacement Program, aims to enhance the aircraft's performance and reliability. The United States Air Force anticipates that the first B-52J undergoing testing will commence ground and flight evaluations by late 2028, with additional B-52s scheduled to undergo engine upgrades throughout the 2030s. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comment section.